y'all, it's Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl. And over here, I like to focus on all things vinyl, sublimation, and screen printing. I don't focus on perfection because without mistakes, how else are you supposed to learn anything? I have over 15 years of professional experience, if you want to call it that. So you might see things done a little bit differently than what you're used to seeing them done. I also have epilepsy. They're still working on my medication and so much other stuff. So words are very difficult for me a lot of times, most of the time. And I might forget to say something during the tutorial, or I might edit out the wrong thing, or I might leave in the wrong thing during the editing process. So please be forgiving. I also am extremely honest about affiliate links or if a product is sent to me. So if that sounds like something that you're into, then stay a while and think about joining the Cut and Corners family. If not, then buzz on because my honeybees, they have a real sting to them. So today I'm going to show you how to make my handy dandy t-shirt guide. So since I've decided to close down my shop, I had a big shop, we sold online, we also made all kinds of custom things, we ran a big screen print shop, as I said, we were in business for a very long time, but due to health reasons, we closed. Just couldn't take it anymore. If you will notice, I'm very sporadic right now about posting, lots of health issues. Um, during the intros, I won't wear my glasses, but like if I do a live, I wear my special glasses and things like that because camera lights really bother me a lot. But because I stopped selling things, I don't sell my handy dandy t-shirt guide. So I figured out a way to design it down so people can make it at home. So that's what we're going to go over is how to make it and how to use it. Now the file is available on my Patreon page for my $3 or more a month supporters. And there are PNGs and SVGs of it. So you can print it or you can cut it. Now, if you cut it, there is, it is a two color file, but you can make it down to one if you want to. That's completely up to you. And the size is available and it is a nine inch, 10, not nine inch, 12 inch, 14, 15, 16, and 20. Now, if you are needing it in any additional sizes, let me know. I can always change the file to different sizes. Those are just the most popular sizes in heat presses. Um, but again, I can change the file sizes. And there are a couple of different configurations of it. We have like a very simple version and then something that's a little bit more advanced. And I'll kind of go over that as well. And whenever I go to the portion of this where the guide is being cut, my husband is doing that part because one, with my epilepsy and the other issues I'm having, I... <laughs> one not supposed to really be using like sharp objects and things like that so he's doing that portion just to let you know i'm not going to show the portion of like putting the file into cricut or silhouette most of you know how to do that portion there's no reason for me to do that now i will show you how to line it up like so i'm going to do the svg version again there's no real point in me showing you the printed version you know and as far as the material to put this on, that's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable putting it on, again, that's up to you. Because what makes it special to me is how easy it is to use because it's, it's really a glorified thick ruler. And the important part about it is 
is it needs to be straight. It needs to be straight. That's the, that's part of what makes it special. Um, I mean, yes, the lines on it, where certain things are, that definitely helps. But that is the kicker is it definitely needs to be straight. So whatever's the easiest material for you to cut, you're putting it next to heat. Um, plastic does work. That's what we've always put it on are different forms of plastic, but don't leave it under your heat press. If you use plastic, when you go to close it, I mean, I, there, we've gotten a lot of calls that they've gotten melted. So just to kind of forewarn you for those things, but you can put it on paper, you can put it on whatever. Um, but again, whatever you're comfortable working with, because you know, you're the one who's making it. Um, now these files are for personal use only. Um, I mean, I can't stop you because you'll have the file in your possession if you do decide to use it some other way. And another reason why I decided to do this is because, um, I did a battle of the t-shirt guides and pretty much everything that I looked for to see if I could find something that was pretty much identical to what I had, um, there really wasn't anything. Um, I found a couple that were close, but not really exactly what I had. And it's like, well, let me take what I did have and change it to more of what I, what I would have changed, what we were talking about changing before we closed anyway, if that makes sense. Um, so I simplified it down, made it a little bit easier. So hopefully you love it. Um, and yes, it's on Patreon. You can cancel your Patreon at any time. This is the only way I have to sell at the moment. I can't drive. So this is the option I have. Um, so hopefully you understand that. I know I've talked a lot. I'm sorry. Um, I kind of leave things in. My regular subscribers completely get this. If you already have the old t-shirt guide, no, you don't need the new one. Um, but as I said, I've got two different versions. One that has a three inch width. It's pretty much identical other than it's simplified down for the new version. And then one that's a three and a half inch that is a little bit more advanced, but it also has different spots so you know where to put for different like necks. I'll explain. But on to the tutorial. So for mine, I decided to do mine a little bit differently. So I took and sliced my pink layer onto my white because I decided to use metallic vinyl for my pink. So I used the ultra metallic opaque neon pink for one and the transparent glitter in hot pink for another, which both of those are a thicker adhesive vinyl. They're both by specialty material. Actually, all of my adhesives today are specialty. So I used the craft vinyl in gloss white, gloss black, and clear. And then again, the transparent glitter in hot pink and the ultra metallic opaque in neon pink which both of my metallics, which they're both glitter, are just scraps that I had around, um, which as I said, they're both thicker. So this was just the easier way to do it. Now I am trimming off the excess pieces of my transfer tape and I am saving those to the side. Um, that's just an easier way to do it. Now on several things, I did take and have things pre mask, which is just putting transfer tape on. It just kind of saved for time. Now I did take and speed this up to two and a half times speed. Now every size has a PNG and an SVG file. Now, I didn't take and do the most complex ruler, even though it has an SVG version, because 
I wouldn't personally do that as a cut file. And as far as the material goes, we used a thicker uh, Comatex material, but you can cut down whatever material you, material you want to use, whatever you're comfortable cutting a straight line with. Um, again, it is whatever you're comfortable using. Um, my husband did the majority of the cutting and weeding. My eyesight is not good right now. That is parchment paper. And I have my Caterpillar Glow, which I have been using so much to weed vinyl on and lining things up. Now, this is a thicker vinyl, so it is very easy to remove off the backing without masking over whenever it comes to like the metallics very very easy to use you can see that it see how that is slightly transparent you can see through it very very easy to work with so that wasn't a vinyl that i needed to worry about using some mask for and that is a roller or in the sign world a brayer very easy to work with and Parchment paper for working with something like this whenever you're trying to line up multiple colors of adhesive is so much easier to work with because it is more transparent than the regular backing on vinyl. So it makes it a whole lot easier to see what you are doing. Um, now I do cut out where I'm adjusting things like moving from scenes to scenes because it did cut down on time because yeah if not this video would have been 12 hours long we do need to cut down on time but I do definitely because a squeegee is great but the brayer just really helps get bubbles and stuff out so so much easier but as you can see the cutter pillar is really really easy to use and easy to see through um, and it's not too bright it really isn't um, because you know sometimes those LED light boards can be too bright if you know what I mean um, I did take and use just some packing tape I should have used a lighter weight tape but I didn't but very easy to line up. Just gonna squeegee it all down. And specialty materials is listed in the description box if you are interested in trying out any of their vinyl. It is not an affiliate link and you can also get um, samples of their vinyl, uh, which is great. So, again, squeegeeing it down not squeegeeing it but using the roller just to make sure everything is good and then I'm going to use my if that is a quilting ruler but it's great for cutting down vinyl and you don't have to worry about your fingers getting in the way um, that's made by Fiskars Fiskars makes some great tools and I always remove the transfer tape whenever I'm doing like layers like this because there's really no reason to leave it on there. Also, be careful when you're doing it because sometimes the parchment paper, it doesn't always want to stick perfectly because it's parchment paper and it's not supposed to. But again, you can also double check in between your layers for bubbles, which also makes it a whole lot easier because when you're working with these more solid pieces like this, it's better now again if you're not wanting to work with a metallic like I did you don't and your background is white you don't have to have the solid white piece so you would save on vinyl uh, which definitely makes it a little bit more cost effective and you don't have to make it two colors you could easily make it one color you could print this you could make it out of paint mask you could paint it you can do whatever you want with this. That's why I have the file several different ways. Um, so you could easily make it your own. It just kind of depends on 
what you're wanting to do with it. Now, I don't show putting together both of them because you really don't need to see them both being put together. I mean, it's the exact same process over and over. Um, I mean, once you've seen it one time, it's the same thing. But just double check for accuracy because the brilliant thing with this is the straightness of it. Now, I was going to do the tutorial portion of how to use it, but because of the length of this video, I decided I'm going to use save the tutorial portion for tomorrow and include it with the Patreon video. I just think that that's going to be the easier part of this. It's just going to work better and it'll be a dedicated tutorial on how to use it. Um, I just think that that's going to be just the easier way. But I mean, you can see how good that looks, how easy it was to do. I mean, and yes, it took a whole lot longer than this. But the thing with it is, is once it's done, it's done. Now, once it's put together, I'm just sticking this onto parchment paper. I'm going to stick them both on here. And one of the things I am doing is now that I'm doing this is I'm going to take a piece of the specialty materials clear craft vinyl and I'm going to cover them both together because it's easier on Jeremy to have them in one piece together since he's going to make two of them. Um, and I'm going to cover them both in the clear vinyl and that way any of the little pieces of the white any of where the black has the separation of lines will be covered and it will be one piece of vinyl. So that way you don't have to worry about anything coming loose or anything like that over time. It just makes it where you don't have to sit there and like make this again in six months um, because you are going to be working with this around heat. Um, especially if you do decide to make this cut vinyl the way that I am. It's just going to save you time and things like that in the long run. Um, now that is a 12 by 15 inch piece. So I use the whole piece. Yes, I know it's wasteful. It's just <laughs> much easier in the long run. You know, sometimes you waste some sometimes you don't um, but I did want to make sure Jeremy had enough room all the way around and it was just easier that way and I had a little bit of excess on the side so wanted to make sure again that he had enough space because you want to make sure there's room and this did take this tutorial did take a lot longer than we initially anticipated because it took Jeremy a lot longer to weed things and it took a lot longer for lining things up and it took a lot longer for the cut down process and for things to dry. It's been a while since Jeremy's worked with cutting down boards and things like that. Now Jeremy did just take and clean the board with alcohol because you do want to make sure your boards are nice and clean. Um, that is very, very important. And he's using the edge of the vinyl to make sure it was stuck down well. He's using application fluid. I have some linked in my Amazon store, which is in the description. Um, and Comatex is also available on Amazon. I don't think I have it linked in my store, but if I can try to remember to link it in the description or in the Amazon store if you're interested. He is using a lot of application fluid. It is better to use more than what you need than not enough. And he's also using it on his hand and making sure it is fully covered. Um, 
because the one thing you don't want is you don't want it to stick when you're not ready for it too because you get air bubbles or things like that in between and you get wrinkles and then it's not going to be accurate so he's going to roll out as much of that liquid as possible just to make sure it's down nice and firm see how he's just kind of pushing out all of the liquid which now kind of looks disgusting and he's just going to let it sit um he's going to dry up the excess first but now he's just going to kind of let it sit it's not going to hurt anything the board's not going to get messed up because it is plastic um now that it's been sitting and drying um he does cut down one nail but he found out that it wasn't completely dry so he cuts it down and he used a thicker comatex than what we normally used so and that's part of the reason why it took a little bit longer for it to dry and that is a safety ruler that he's using you see how it has and that as you can see we've used that a million times to cut down rulers you see how it's got that ridge on it so you, you see how he's got his hand there and that is a just a regular razor blade knife um those are extremely sharp but you see he always got his hand there so you don't have to worry about slicing the tips of your fingers off um i will try to remember to link that in the amazon cart as well or in the amazon store but he's scoring it and then he's going to fold it but that helps so you don't take in one slice the tips of your fingers off but it keeps things nice and firm and then it's got uh, rubber on the bottom so it doesn't take and move on you um, if you do signage and things like that those are the kinds of tools that are important to have and kind of like the grid non-scoring mat that I have below um, those are the kinds of tools that are important to kind of help keep things straight because measurements are important whenever it comes to making signs um, because you know keeping things square people are going to notice if things are not straight i mean let's just definitely keep that in mind um and again that's what's important about this because one of the things you know everybody thinks whenever they look at t-shirt guides for some reason for some reason I'm trying to think of the best way to put this people have it in their heads that a t-shirt guide should be have a neck guide because that's what's going to tell you it's going to be straight or it needs all these different measurements to me it really doesn't and if you actually start to look at t-shirts they're not sewn straight bodies aren't straight that's part of the reason why at least in my opinion that this is so ingenious is because you go off the press or because that's kind of where you're going to get your best alignment um, if you look at how shirts are screen printed the big professional presses the palettes are square or rectangular they're not shaped like shirts because that's how you're going to get your best alignment it's just kind of how it works 
that's where you're going to get the most accurate measurements. Bodies aren't straight. Shirts aren't sewn straight. Knowing roughly where to place things is going to get your transfers, whether it be sublimation, whether it be vinyl, whether it be direct to garment, screen printing, that's where it's going to look the absolute best. And hopefully people understand that. And again, this is available on my Patreon page. This is the only way I have to sell. Um, they're available for my $3 or more a month patrons. You can cancel at any time. Um, at this point, if you request, like, I can do refunds. But if you request a refund before the month is over, I will not grant a refund because if there, people will have tried to request a refund, like to get the download and then uh, like just to kind of get it for free. So I will not give a refund until the month is over. Well, I won't give a refund at this point. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at on that. It's $3 or more a month. There is tax on it. That's the only way I have to sell. But yeah, hopefully this makes sense. I appreciate you watching. We're going to do the tutorial tomorrow on how to use it. Everything is taking me longer. I am feeling better. I'm getting some of my cognitive ability back. Um, I will kind of go over a little bit more about what's going on with my health stuff. Um, some things are improving, but there is still a long way to go. Um, actually, there's a whole long, lot longer to go. Um, a whole longer to a whole lot longer and there's actually a lot more to go on um, but yeah I mean it's not gonna be anything I don't know I will definitely keep y'all updated um, but yeah I definitely love you guys y'all have definitely been important to, well y'all are always going to be important to me um hopefully this makes sense I'm still not all here and it's that's not going to change at least not for a while um we still got a lot of testing to do and yeah but yeah Hopefully y'all like this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see y'all later. Bye.